hypoglycemia is, a, is when your blood sugars are very low. So it's defined as less than 70. And most of the time when people have hypoglycemia, they start to have multiple symptoms, such as sweats and chills, uh, shakes, confusion, a sudden sense of weakness. And in those instances, it's important to test your blood sugar because that can be pretty vague symptoms and you may not know, is it your blood sugar or is it something else? The only way to really determine is to test your blood sugars with a glucometer. If it is less than 70, you wanna get sugar in your body as soon as possible. So you could drink half a cup of orange juice or apple juice or soda, whatever you prefer. Make sure it's not diet, make sure it actually has sugar in it. And if you don't have access to that, you could get a little piece of candy. I usually recommend getting like a small snack pack of Skittles. You could do a small pack of raisins. Something that you can take in quickly, chew it up, and get your blood sugars back up again. The way we normally treat hypoglycemia is to do the 15-15 rule. So some of those things that I just explained, the juices and the candies, they will at least contain 15 grams of carbs. And so you'd want to consume that and then wait 15 minutes and retest your blood sugar again. If it hasn't come up above 70, again, you'd want to get another 15 grams of carbs, consume that, and wait another 15 minutes and retest your blood sugar. If you're doing this up to three times and you're still not noticing that your blood sugars have come up above 70, then you may need to obtain something like glucagon, which you may or not have. If not, you would want to get emergency services involved so that they can come to you and provide it. To explain what glucagon is, it basically is a hormone and it stimulates your liver to produce uh, sugar, to break down stores in your body that can help to produce sugar. It usually comes as an injectable, a syringe where you inject it versus a nasal spray that you could use. It all depends whether your insurance covers it or not. You want to have this conversation with your provider, especially if you're noticing that you're having a lot of hypoglycemic episodes that you find yourself constantly trying to treat by drinking juice or sodas. So the reason why you would want to treat hypoglycemia and recognize it right away is because it can result in some severe complications and it can be life-threatening. So if you don't take in sugar as quickly as possible, some people can become unresponsive, you could have a seizure, and you could slip into a coma or something worse. Um, I don't mean to scare you, but it is important to, to recognize these symptoms and to be able to address it as quickly as possible, especially if you're on medications that can cause it. So now that we've covered hypoglycemia or low blood sugars, we need to speak about what would happen if your blood sugars are too high, called hyperglycemia. But we'll talk about that in another video.